Yeah, cut up. Yeah, I need some big old alien titties in this game, please. Banned? What do you mean wanting alien titties gets you banned? Oh shit. Well, as you can tell from the title, I was banned from the biggest Discord server in the world for Gate Ruler. Not really saying much because the game isn't out yet, and I was one of maybe six people who actually used it, but it's fine. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the post the admin made uh, about it. Uh, I'm not going to name any names. Uh, I'm going to read the post the admin named about uh, uh, made about it, and I'm going to explain my position, um, and then you guys can make your own mind up. Uh, let me start off by saying up front that if I could, I would post copious receipts, screenshots of everything, because that's how confident I am that I really did nothing out of the ordinary. Like, my behaviour was pretty standard for a guy on the internet. However, for some reason, uh, they have, uh, in the settings in Discord, when you ban someone, you can choose whether or not their messages remain. They have that setting turned so that all the messages are deleted. This is really bad practice in my opinion because you should be able to be held accountable. You should be able, you should be, you know, willing to learn and accept mistakes that you have made. Uh, and a very necessary part of that is allowing yourself to be accountable for the decisions you make and the community to scrutinize whether what you did was okay. And indeed your other admins to scrutinize whether or not what you did was okay. So a really big part of that is making sure the messages are still there so other people can read it and can make their mind up. And if several people immediately go, that wasn't right, like that person really did nothing wrong, you can reevaluate your priorities and have the ability to change that decision. I think that's very important, being able to learn and grow uh, and make mistakes is fine, but uh, being able to accept that and, uh, you know, grow as a person is pretty important. What has happened here is the messages are completely gone. Every message I ever sent, nuked. Every message Austin has ever sent, nuked. Uh, so I literally, like, even though, uh, yes, I uh, can literally make a new account on Discord and just join the server. It's really not very difficult. Banning me has accomplished nothing in that sense. I could, if I wanted to, I could still interact. I could still, I could just make another thing. Like, no one's going to, like, how would anyone know? I'm not going to because I don't care. <laughs> and... I'm, you know, I don't particularly want to interact with a group of people who are going to be that toxic. But anyway, that long ramble was essentially to say, I don't have receipts because they're deleted. And you're probably going to hear me say that a bunch, but otherwise I would I will post uh, everything on screen that I can, that I have. I'll do my best. Uh, but yeah, I, I figured you guys do deserve to know why I'm not there and why potentially, you know, I mean, certainly you're not going to see this website being linked in any of my um, in any of my content from now on. You won't see that Discord being linked in any of my content from now on. If it if I had been linking it before, I can't remember. Um, it is what it is. Let's uh, stop wasting time and let's go ahead and start reading this post here. So um, here you go. Austin and Khrushchev have been banned from the server. This post is to make it as clear as I can to everyone that voicing your opinions and cards and making memes is not going to get you in trouble, since I'm a bit worried about it being misconstrued that way. Now, I think it's very interesting that uh, they feel the need to put this as the very first thing, because it implies that on some level, what they did can indeed be construed that way. There is a way of looking at what they did and making that conclusion. And I think it's pretty clear because when you sit down and you analyze the uh, behavior that I am being you know, banned for, what it fundamentally comes down to is three things. One, I said I wanted a particular piece of artwork in the game, which was a dissenting opinion from the admins. Two, I said that four haunting was optimal and I gave my opinion on a card when it was relevant to discussion. And three, I said I think haunting is a bad deck and I gave my opinion on a deck when relevant to discussion. Now related to those is I also did make memes about four haunting being good. You know, the sort of thing that a community member may do in to engage in the community. Now, if I can find any of those, if they haven't been completely wiped off the face of the earth, because I need to clarify, I'm banned from literally everywhere, the Facebook group and all that stuff. 
uh, it's gone. Um, I, so I can't go out and get them, uh, and like all my posts are deleted. Uh, otherwise, I, but I'll do what I can, and if I can, I'll show them on screen as, as I'm talking. So the point of that was essentially me going, yeah, the reason that people might construe it that way is because that very much feels like what's happened here. You took an opportunity to ban someone you don't like um, with, when the reasoning was not sound. Let's continue. This is something that's been coming for nine months at this point, and frequent unwanted behavior led to this eventually happening. I will come back to that in a bit, but keep that keep that in mind. This is something that's been coming for nine months. I want to let you guys know that the server is like nine months old. So, uh, for some reason, I've been acting out for nine months since the server's inception, and they decided now, out of the blue, not when anything I'd actually done, allegedly, now they'll just ban me now. We'll come back to that. On Chris's part in particular, twice in the past when users were banned from here, he would participate in joking about the bans as if they were some badge of honor in his server. So let's just stop there for a moment. Um, with few exceptions, what goes on in other servers and in private messages and things like that shouldn't really be relevant when it comes to something like banning someone from a public forum. If, for example, I had said something racist, or I had said something transphobic or homophobic or something, um, and you know, at that point you have a sufficient and and you know more than once, like so either something so egregious or multiple times it being something just bad enough that you're like, that's not okay. This person's clearly you know not a good fit for this community. I would understand that. But what has happened here is two people were banned, and I will I will show the screenshot now. Here it is. Here's what I said. This is the conversation in question. Uh, here is the conversation in question. This is editor me. Uh, as you can see, I really didn't engage with the joke at all. I pointed out that he was banned, and I was like, lol, you got banned. Nice job, idiot. That was kind of it. I really didn't engage with the joke. That is that is it. That's, uh, that's all I had to say. Um... I just, I was like, lol, okay. Uh, I'll also clarify, at the time, I agreed with the ban of uh, nine tails. Uh, I would love to show you that, but as I say, all the messages have been deleted. I did disagree with the ban of Dr. Beppis. However, I will also clarify that other mods did too, and generally speaking, it was not a popular decision. And a lot of people were like, that was really, really harsh and like, over moderation. And which again, I would love to show you, but messages deleted and so. Considering Ninetales in particular, the ban was due to transphobic jokes, this doesn't exactly sit easy with us. Now, uh, for those of you who are curious, the joke in question was, um, he said, uh, and again, I'd love to show you, but I can't because we're banned, um, something along the lines of, uh, the Darkness Genesis Summon uh, deck, call it Genobis, my deck's pronouns are Genobis, please respect my deck's pronouns. Now, is that an edgy joke? Yes. Is it a joke I would make? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't think I said anything like that. I certainly called the deck Genobis because I thought, oh, Genesis, Abyss, Genobis, that's clever. I didn't say anything like that. Um, and indeed, I wasn't even online for a majority of this conversation. I logged on, like, when I got a message from one of the mods saying, can you sort your friend out? And I was like, what the hell's going on? I logged on and banned. So, very little I could have done. Um, is that a transphobic statement? I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. It's it, As far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter whether or not it is a transphobic statement in this context, because that's what someone else did. I have no control over what people do, and, you know, it is what it is. I, I don't have control over that. Austin was less directly egregious, but has a history with our staff of being snarky about our moderation decisions and pushing us towards a very lax moderation style, which is not what we want. After nine months of not only no change in behaviour, but far more incidents in addition to the initial incident nine months ago, we decided to finally ban them both after discussion among staff. So you'll notice um, there's actually nothing about me here. Uh, the only thing about me is I apparently uh, considered it a badge of honor as getting banned from Gate Realize. Um, now, uh, I can say definitively that that is not true, and the reason I can say that is because two months ago I went out of my way to try and hash things out with the head admin and understand why I was feeling this sense of animosity from the uh, from them. So I, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to show that conversation because it's DMs. Um, 
but it happened. Uh, it happened in January, uh, or, or the, it happened on the 1st of January, I believe. So, you know, absolutely, you can uh, you can ask the hair admin if you want, and as long as they don't lie, they will corroborate that conversation did take place. So clearly, I didn't want to get banned. It wasn't something I was actively trying to do, which you would think if something was a badge of honor, I would be trying to speed run that, right? Now, uh, the initial incident nine months ago, as you saw in that skit at the beginning, uh, was literally me liking a piece of artwork. Uh, now, it has actually been claimed by the head admin that I attempted to brigade the server with alternate accounts and with bots, with fake accounts that I made. The, he actually thought that Dr. Beppis was a fake account of mine or Austin's, which, you know, I don't know how you come to that conclusion just because it's a dissenting opinion. Uh, I would, again, post a screenshot here, but I can't because I did promise the individual I got that screenshot from that I would not share it. So, unfortunately, I cannot share that. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to make something like that up. That's weird. So, let's now return to this uh, bit at the top this is something that's been coming for nine months and frequent unwanted behavior led to this eventually happening what i'm going to do is going to read you now the message i received from uh, the head admin uh, with regards to the reasoning so i messaged uh, did you ban me what did i even do and i will i'll put the screenshot here did you ban me what did i even do nothing that had just happened just finally coming to a decision of what to do based on the past behavior. So I said, you just, so you decided to ban me for no reason. What, just because you don't like me? Real classy. No, but since the last time we discussed this, you still didn't see anything wrong with your behavior and you'll probably continue to see it that way. To clarify, this was a decision the staff came to, so it's not all about me just disliking you, but the behavior you've insisted on continuing and the culture you encourage is not what we want for this server. Now, uh, two points there, the culture we encourage and the community you are cultivating. Um, I, I don't like want to be that guy, but I am literally the only English content creator for this game, uh, and I'm the only English official influencer for this game. So, you know, like, <laughs> my community is the gate ruler community. Like, there isn't really a separation there. Like, the, I, I, I imagine a majority of players at the moment, because we're so because we're still over a month from launch, people who are interested in this game are probably already watching my videos. Like, my community probably is the community. So, this is a really weird statement to make. Um, and secondly, the thing about this being a decision reached by the mods, um, I would like to inform you that this occurred while I was sleeping overnight. And if you do a little bit of time zone conversion, you investigate and all that. Uh, I have, uh, and uh, after asking around and uh, speaking to people, uh, I'm not going to out, but uh, what I can tell you is a majority of the mods were asleep. The mods that were not asleep, all but one of them abstained from the decision. They did not feel comfortable making the decision. So in reality, this was a one-man decision. So saying it like this was a decision the staff came to is again, very misleading. So that's it, that's the situation, now you know. What am I doing? Well, I'm still gonna be talking about Gate Ruler in my Discord server, you can find a link in the description. And uh, there is a new Facebook group called uh, North America Gate Ruler TCG, please join that. Uh, it's going to have all your favorite content creators are going to be very active there. A really active mod team, uh, daily discussion. We're trying to get in lots of, uh, you know, other content creators and things and trying to cultivate a really friendly community there and without any of this toxic atmosphere that can be found elsewhere. So if you are interested, please do join. There will be a link in the description uh, and there will be a link. Uh, I'll try and remember to go back and change all my previous videos. So now they are all linked there as well. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you guys joined and interacted and uh, we can start having a fantastic time with this game uh, when it launches in about six weeks. Uh, but that's it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed the drama, hit the like button. Uh, if you think I'm an asshole, hit the dislike button. Please don't. I feel bad. Um, if uh, Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. I am curious. What's your opinion? I'm, I do want to know. I am completely open. Maybe I did fuck up. I want to know how. Um, and yeah, join the Facebook group, please. Link in the description once again. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video for hopefully a little less drama. <laughs> Cheers.